Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this rating stars which has hover effect and also all possible states with some text below and this is just you know one component which you can reuse in your projects and uh, also we have small trick here how to achieve this hover effect and also uh, trigger the parent component states so if you are interested keep watching okay so now I'm, I have this empty canvas here I already call it rating stars so if you want to follow along, just open your project and first of all, of course, we need to find some stars. I already have searched the star here, so I will use this feather star. So let's give it background color of white and it will be easier to select this component this way. Let's lock this and reduce the size a little bit for 24 make the stroke size of one pixel and of course let's change the color to something like uh, orange i also add this color here and probably we also need to add this color here maybe not white but uh, it doesn't matter okay so now we need to turn this into the component and uh, let's call it star and let's create the hover effect so the for hover effect I will use this drop shadow at zero zero I don't know maybe eight pixels with the same color like we have for the stroke okay and I also like to remove this um, easing say none and make this zero zero okay so this way it acts more naturally and faster okay we also need to have additional state which will be active state in an active state we just uh, have this orange background okay so we have three states and our child component is done now we need to probably have five of them right and let's reduce this to seven pixels because in reality when we ungroup this repeat grid we will have eight and I, I'm not sure why, why it's happening. If you know the reason, please leave your comment. It will be very helpful. Okay, so now, before we turn this into the parent component, we actually need some kind of uh, click trigger because we can't use child component to trigger parent component states. So in this case, we can just simply uh, copy this and let's ungroup this and move them all to the top so this way we have only shape of the star and actual components here so let's just turn this to red or something it really doesn't matter because we we will reduce the opacity of this stars to zero so we have now all the child components and um, just star shapes okay so we can select them all and turn this to parent component let's call it stars and now as you can see we have just shapes at the top and the child components of the actual stars and uh, the hover effect still works of course 
and now we need to create the actual states of the stars so let's create new state let's call it one star and in this state let's change this first star to the active state okay and that's it for now let's go and create additional states like two stars and here we need to turn the second star component child component to the active state and we need to do this probably three times still stars let's turn the third star to active state let's add additional one four stars and open this and uh, turn this to active and one more state five stars and change this to active okay so now we have all possible states right no so now we need to wire this up which is a little bit long process but once you done it you can then you reuse this component on your project so I will show you how many variables we will have to cover here so let's say uh, let's start actually from the default state so let's go to prototype section and as you can see now we have this clickable object within the parent component so we can trigger the parent component states with this invisible stars so let's start with the first star probably let's click it here and let's say tab of course not hover up to out to animate and uh, destination is first star okay and let's do second star which will go to state two state two stars and this one should go to three stars and this one should go to four stars and please notice that I'm selecting selecting actually this um, this invisible star shape not not the actual components not the child components it's important so now we wired up our first step we need to go to state 2 of the parent component which is one star and from here we need to be able to click the second star and go to the two stars state right and so on and so forth I'm doing this a little bit quicker so I hope you understand the process so now in the two stars state of the parent component we need to actually uh, have ability of clicking the first star and go to one star state again from this situation right we don't have to click the second star because it does not have any sense you know you already activated two stars so now you can activate this if you wish so three stars this is four stars this is five stars and let's continue from here so first star is clickable it goes to one star section and now second star is also clickable it goes to two star section third star is not clickable because this is the same state of course four star and five stars here all right so now we go to four star state and do the same for the first star and uh, second star let's click here and go to three stars we can't click this one and let's do five stars so we left one more it's five star state 
and let's start from the beginning one star uh, two star three stars and four stars that's it so now let's move to the default state of the parent component and let's check what we have okay our effect works one star let's say from here I want to click four stars and then I decided to click two stars so this works perfectly all variables are covered and the actual component is done so now you can actually add additional stuff to this component if you wish so let's say we want some text as I had in the preview video actually I don't need this I need just the text so let's make some text area and let's say I don't know rate us or something like this let's use the same color uh, let's center this and let's just have 16 pixels and probably we don't need this auto hate text we need just auto width okay and we have here maybe 16 pixels let's align them correctly yeah so now we need to cut this out and go to our actual component inside the parent component and paste this in okay so now when you click on this state probably we have to change it to let's say it's terrible okay one star probably terrible rating two stars it's probably bad three stars um, probably not bad and um, let's select parent component again and go here and say good let's select the final state and let's say excellent I hope I spell it correctly okay so now we have some additional stuff here says rate us on this state and when you click some stars it shows you this is excellent good not bad bad and terrible so yeah now of course we have this color added here so we can of course just deselect this and we can edit this color let's say we want some kind of I don't know red stars maybe so now everything is changed to the red color but for some reason as you can see this drop shadow hover effect I, I had uh, it's still the same and I don't really know why it's happening and if you know please let me know in, in the comments because I'm really keen and can't find any information about this so yeah that's your quick or maybe not too quick lesson about rating stars in Adobe XD so thank you for watching if you like this kind of stuff this is my kind of first try I'm just starting my YouTube channel and if you find anything interesting and useful here please consider to subscribe it will be very encouraging for me to continue creating this kind of tutorials so thanks a lot for watching and bye bye